Hi, Joe Hollander here for NailArtArtist.com with thumbs up number 4. In this thumbs up I'll show you how to make the petal pattern on short nails as well as long nails. I've tagged this tutorial as pro because two of the nail polishes I use in this design are very difficult to handle. If you are just beginning with water marbling, you might want to check out the how-to tutorials first by clicking on the button on the right. Otherwise, let's go and paint some nails. First of all, I want to apologize for the quality of this video. I originally intended it as a last-minute design inspired on peonies for Mother's Day and was very much in a hurry to film everything. But to make this design, you really need to take some time. I begin with prepping my nails with a white layer and then a second layer of Catrice number 21, rosy one more time. Other colors I use in this tutorial are Catrice number 29, Will You Bury Me? Catrice number 7, Genius in the Bottle and Catrice number 11, Miss Piggy's BF. Then I make a bull's eye. Watch closely how each polish spreads in a different way. The rosy color has very little flakes in it. I call these polishes glittery polishes. They are able to spread fast and really pu push other polishes away. You see that happen with the purplish color that gets pushed in tight bands of polish. Because the amount of nail polish in these tight bands, it tends to stay wet and that is exactly what I want for this design. There is another very difficult to handle nail polish in this design and that's the green polish with the petrol shine to it. I call these nail polishes petrally and they tend to spread fast and far and dry fast. That capacity of wanting to spread stays until the polish is dry and you see me fight it drawing the figure. I wanted to give the impression of a flower on a stem in which my finger represents the stem. So I want the green leaf at the bottom of my nail and the petal at the, uh, the top. That's almost impossible to achieve when you dip with two fingers at the same time. I wouldn't do that again. You can see the result on the false tip is already a lot better, but still not perfect. Oh well, practice makes perfect. So let's get water marbling, let's paint some nails. Oh and if you liked this design, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.